Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. August 9th, Wednesday, our market closed higher today up 57.48 points or up 0.89% to close at 6,530.45. Value turnover is at 3.2 billion pesos. So it's a muted market. Boring. No? Unless, of course, there's a surprise. Uh, announcement. No? But right now, the market is just trading sideways. And expect uh, MSCI and FTSE rebalancing announcement to happen uh, this week and next week. No? And also the start of the ghost month this week. No? Officially, August 12th. Yata, eh, no? Until, I'll check the final date. No? But it looks like na uh, this week na yun eh. No? So, ingat lang, no? Where the market uh, suddenly disappear. No? Yung mga volume, lumiliit. No? Choppy session talaga. No? Last year, okay yung performance during ghost month. But uh, it's a case-to-case -case basis. It looks like right now, mahina. No? Anyway, uh, DG Plus no, went to a 52-week high. A new 52 week high, no? so expect announcement, uh, earnings announcement next week. No? So, this first quarter, laki ng kinita nila, which is a turnaround. No? So, we already extensively discussed DJ Plus uh, several times before. No? And a big brokerage initiated a buy rating on this. No? So, it's one of those times na we buy before these big guns buy. No? Yun naman tapat eh. No? You should be ahead of the herd. Yun yung style natin dito. No? MPI uh, surges above 5 pesos right now. As you know, they already formalized uh, the tender offer, no? which will commence uh, today. No? So, one month pa yan. Eh, no? So, it's a quote-unquote sure ball 3%. No? So, there will be some fees there and another round of dividends uh, next week. No? O, laki ng Kinita natin here, no? We were able to ride MPI from 3 pesos and 50 centavos, which we bought early this year, January, February. No? Nakailang round rin tayo, no? When it went up first, went up to around above 4 pesos, tapos nag-buy back tayo. Anyway, wala na tayong hawak dyan. So, I'm not holding that for for tender offer na kasi medyo alanganin na, no? The spread is much uh, smaller. No? Alanganin rin yung kita. Anyway, uh, M rate is also up 1.73%. No? So, after their first half, distributable income is also up 12%, no? around 1.4 billion. The MCI, no? uh, first half net income is 22% lower at 20.3 billion. No? This is because of lower contributions from uh, their business. No? High base kasi last year. Gold, nickel, and their. Uh, construction business. SM no? uh, had a strong performance this first half, net income at around 36.5 billion. No? So it's one of those reopening. Uh, CNPF, no? their first half net income is also up 8% year on year to around 3.2 billion. Uh, Monde naman. No? Ayan. Bloomberry net income uh, surged 160 percent around 6.4 billion no, for the first half of this year. Remember last year, no? Uh, when we first discussed Bloomberry around seven pesos, no, it's one of those stocks that sinasabi natin na will benefit from the reopening of the economy. No? So right now it's the time to sell na, especially uh, when it will be added to the index replacing MPI. No? So yung mga surges na right now it's just a overstretch. No? So, congratulations, no? JFC, no? Uh, first half net income also is down 6%, around 4.7 billion, no? So, this is, of course, includes that one of gains from uh, the sale of other properties up to around uh, close to 3 billion pesos, no? So, ABA continues to drop right now, no? So, third straight day, no? Of course, there will be some opportunity here if you're a swing trader, but yun na. Case-to-case -case basis. This is not for everyone. No? 
is um, undervalued, of course, but will you buy it? Pahala kayo, no? By the way, no, Converge, no? Uh, is also launching Blast TV, no? So, they're also hinting at entering the gaming space. No? Peralco is likely to cut electricity rate this August by around uh, 29 centavers per kilowatt hour. No? This is because of lower spot market. So Nikel, no? uh, sabi sa briefing nila, no? they're expecting better production and shipment due to lower rainfall. No? So El Nino. No? So cyclical talaga mga mining companies. TNL, no? uh, net income drop up to 13% year on year to around 1.5 billion in the first half. This is because of uh, high inflation and uh, cautious consumer sentiment. Sabi naman nila, no? uh, di pa fina factor in here yung Batangas plant nila which will drive future growth. By the way, no, PAL is also hoping to return to pre-pandemic levels uh, by 2025. So, they're also revamping their air fleet. Anyway, our passcode for today is Ghost Month. No? So, palapit na yung Ghost Season. Not much activity, ab. So, will there be an investigation? As long as well, the problem here in the market, no? Uh, I already warned everyone here, no? Sabi ko naman sa'yo, kung gusto mo bilhin yan, it's up to you, no? Let me know your thoughts here, no? The stocks to avoid rin naman talaga, even before naman, even Ani nga, uh, people uh, keep on asking or telling me, oh, let's buy Ani because Ani will go to 10 pesos right now, it's already 4 pesos. When buying a stock, it's you don't just look at the fundamentals, you also look who the players are. Pag hindi ko gusto yung mga players behind the stock or the company, hindi ko na ginagalaw yan. No? Let's avoid those. No? There's a reason why it's undervalued. So, anyway, congratulations to MPI holders. No? So, yun lang naman. No? Again, thank you very much for listening. Stay safe. Bye!